Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. If you are watching the videos on my channel, you may have noticed that sometimes the frame rate drops quite significantly. So if you are facing this type of problem with your laptop where the performance drops for no good reason, this video is for you. So here are a couple of quick tips on how to improve the gaming performance on your laptop. So the first thing to make sure that remember to always connect your laptop to the power brick because if it is not connected to the power the laptop will run in a power saving mode to change this click the power icon go to this click this gear setting and here you can see power and battery here it says power mode and as you can see I've selected best performance sometimes it is balanced or the best power efficiency in those cases you are not going to get the optimum performance from your laptop and of course if you are selecting the best performance and if you are using the battery power then the battery will drain quick quite faster so make sure the best performance mode is selected and sometime a quick restart will help as well so once that is done the second thing to check is that right click on your desktop go to display setting and here see the graphics so earlier back in the days nvidia had a control panel and the 3d graphics were managed from the control panel so here you could uh, pick any software or any game and change the settings of that particular game and make sure the nvidia's geforce rtx or whatever your graphic card is that is used but now they have uh, these settings have been moved to windows os since the release of the windows 11. so it is even more simple than the previous control panel method all you have to do is to go to the display settings as i was highlighting sorry display setting and click graphics here you will see the list of all the apps and the games installed if you don't see it you can always click the desktop app section click browse and here select the game that uh, you want to change the performance of so for example here i have roblox and you see it says let the windows decide so basically there are three options one is to let the windows decide the second is the power saving mode in the power saving mode the application will use the integrated gpu which is the intel uhd graphic card but if i click the high performance then it will force the nvidia geforce so if you're not getting good performance select the high performance here now how do you tell that if your game is actually using the integrated gpu or the dedicated gpu so for that go to task manager and click this icon which says performance so here you will have all the parameters cpu memory disk one disk zero uh, GPU 0 is the integrated GPU, GPU 1 is the dedicated graphic card. So basically all you have to do is to run the game. And see if the GPU 0 performance goes up or the GPU 1 performance goes up. Utilization, sorry, not the performance. So at the moment. I can see that it is using the integrated GPU. So Roblox games are small. So I'm not sure if it will lag on this integrated GPU or not. But you, you will notice us increase in the utilization of the uh, dedicated GPU. If that's not the case, you can go to the graphics setting and change it. So yeah, at the moment I have two 
uh, different softwares running. Uh, one is OBS Studio that I'm using to record it. And the second one is the Roblox. So it is quite possible that one of those applications have been moved to the integrated GPU and the other one is on the NVIDIA. So let's see the performance that I will get from it. Oh good, the frame rate is really difficult to read in this one. So yeah, I'm getting full 60 FPS now. So most likely the Roblox has moved to the dedicated GPU. And of course, make sure to install the latest drivers of your graphic cards, whichever graphic card you are using. That you can do it from the NVIDIA Experience app. Well, I hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching. And please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.